Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So I'm out here on the training pitch working on some fast feet and coordination. So I've got speed and agility ladder out here. If you don't have one of these ladders but you want to perform these exercises, what you can do is place cones in a straight line with gaps in between them. And then you treat those gaps in between the cones like you would each individual square of the agility ladder. But speed and coordination training is really important, especially for footballers. It's all about strengthening the connection between your mind and your body. Because anytime you move a part of your body, it's your brain telling that part of the body to move. So if you can strengthen the connection, those movements are gonna be more explosive, they're gonna be sharper, and you're gonna be a lot more efficient in your movements on the pitch. You can always tell when someone isn't very coordinated, their footwork isn't good, they're not able to change directions quickly, and the ball at their feet is very awkward, it seems a little bit uncoordinated. So if you work on these drills often, you're gonna be sharper with your feet, you're gonna have more coordination over your body, and trust me, you're gonna see a lot of benefits on the pitch as well. So I've got 10 exercises for you guys today. If you haven't already seen it, I did do 15 other fast footwork exercises. I'll put a link to that on the screen right now. They were a bit more basic, but now we're doing slightly more advanced variations of those footwork exercises because the more you challenge yourself the more you grow the more you develop and the better you're going to become so we're going to go into each exercise I will provide slow motion and some explanations for each of the exercises so you guys can do them at home but without further ado let's get into the first exercise Exercise one is hopscotch. So we're alternating between our right and left foot, planting individual feet inside of the ladder, and in between those individual foot strikes, we're planting both feet on the outside of the ladder. So we're just trying to get in a rhythm, hopping from two feet to one foot, back to two feet, making our way through the entire ladder, making sure that we alternate individual foot strikes between our right and left foot, moving through each of the individual squares of the ladder. With all of these exercises, I would recommend starting off slow Slowly until you've got the rhythm down, then increase the foot speed as you gain confidence. Exercise two is diagonal forwards backwards. So we're making our way through the ladder forwards and backwards, but also adding in a diagonal movement so we can proceed to each square of the ladder. So two foot inside each square, two foot outside each square, and then you're going backwards and doing the exact same thing. Trying to coordinate our arm movements with our foot movements so we get a nice coordination, a good link between the brain and the body, and then trying to move those feet as quickly as possible. Again, starting slowly until you gain confidence with the exercise, then increase the foot speed over time. Number three is inside, outside, forwards. So both feet come into each individual square, then one foot leaves the square to strike the outside, which we alternate each time, and then we move forward and repeat the exact same foot pattern on the opposite side. So we're gonna do this until we've made our way through the entire ladder. Two feet come in inside the square, one foot leaves the square, move forwards and do the exact same thing with the opposite foot leaving the square. Exercise four is inside, outside, across. So we're working one foot at a time, going inside the square, outside the square, proceeding to the next one, and then we're doing sort of an icky shuffle movement across the ladder, and then repeating the same process on the opposite side. So it just takes a bit of a connection between the brain and the feet at this point, making sure we're getting that rhythm down. So we're in, out twice, and then across the ladder, doing the exact same thing on the opposite side. Exercise five is the crossover shuffle. So as you can see, I'm crossing over the ladder. My foot isn't going inside the square at all. Then we go to the next square and we shuffle through laterally with both feet striking the inside of the square. So we're essentially skipping one of the ladder squares and then going through the ladder with both feet. So you wanna be doing at least two on one side and then going to the opposite side so you're getting a good balance on both legs.
Number six is the behind foot, inside, outside. So we're taking that rear leg, striking the inside of each square, and then the outside and proceeding to the next square until we've completed every single square in the ladder. So making sure we're driving those arms as well as fast as we possibly can. The faster we drive our arms, the faster our feet are going to move as well. So just developing a rhythm between the arm and foot movements. So to get a balance, do two sets on your left side and then two sets on your right side. Number seven is the behind foot inside outside across. So once again, like exercise six, we're using our back foot to strike the inside of the square, but then the next square we're going to go across. So as we put that back foot in, we then shuffle across the square to the opposite side of the ladder, then perform the exact same movement on both sides. So it just requires a little bit more coordination to be able to adjust those feet and get in a rhythm. So one foot goes in, across, then the opposite foot goes inside, then across again until we've made our way through the entire ladder. Number eight is the advanced hopscotch. So we're working one leg at a time. We hop inside one individual square of the ladder. Then inside that same square, we exchange feet. Then with the opposite foot, hop outside the square. Then we hop forwards to get to the next square. Then repeat the exact same thing on the opposite side until we've made our way through the entire ladder. So we need to be very light on our feet. We need to be coordinated to be able to change feet inside those squares and then making our way through the entire ladder. This one's going to take a little bit of coordination, a little bit of practice, but after a few goes, you should be getting this one down. So we're going through with the right foot and left foot, getting a good balance on both sides until we make our way through the entire ladder. Number nine is the inside outside crossover. So that back leg strikes the inside of the square, then the outside of the square, then that same foot crosses over the front of the body and does the same movement striking the inside of the square, outside of the square, then you repeat this foot pattern until you've made your way through the entire ladder. So you're working one foot at a time essentially, so you wanna do a couple of reps with your right foot leading, and then you wanna do a couple of reps with your left foot leading as well. This one takes a little bit of coordination, but practice it a few times and you will get this one down with no problem. Number 10 is the footwork combo. So we're taking three footwork patterns that we've used already in this video and combining them together. So we're crossing over the ladder, then we're moving laterally across the ladder with two feet inside the square, and then we're moving diagonally up the ladder so we can proceed to the next square. So we cross over two feet across and then two feet going diagonally, and that puts us on the opposite side of the ladder so we can perform the exact same footwork pattern going the opposite way. This will just take a little bit of practice. You've already mastered these movements in the previous exercises. So now we're just combining them together. All right guys, so those are the 10 advanced footwork exercises for you guys to try at home. And I just did four reps of each one. So 40 reps in total, because there was 10 exercises, which doesn't sound like too many, but when you attack each one with high intensity, it ends up being a really good workout. I'm absolutely drenched. Tough work in there, really challenging the coordination. And some of these will challenge you a lot, so don't get frustrated if you don't get them first time. Push outside your comfort zones and you will develop the skills needed over time. So make sure you give each one of these a go. Start off with two or three reps of each and see how much you can do and make sure you attack each one with high intensity. It's not about how many you do, but making sure that each one you're doing as fast as you can, challenging that footwork and making sure your brain is challenged as well. So give these a go. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure you smash the like button, hit the subscribe button for weekly training videos, and I will see you guys in my next video.